okay, let me catch my breath because I was just running. I'm going to call the Wednesday, December 13th, 2023, Recreation and Parks Cultural Affairs Committee to order the roll call. Ms. Ayers. Here. Mr. Lopez. Here. Ms. McMurr. Ms. Shanahan. Here. Mr. Sutton. Present. And Ms. Dunn. Here. So we have a quorum. Can I have someone uh, move the approval of the minutes of July 12th meeting? I will. Thank you, Ms. Shanahan. All in favor? Opposed or abstentions? Anyone abstain? Yes, Ms. Dunn. Did you get that, Delaney? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay, do we have anyone for public participation other than folks on the agenda? We do not. Thank you. So we're going to move on to new business. The city of Norwalk reserves the right to cancel the event for public health or safety reasons as determined by the city of Norwalk in its sole discretion. The city of Norwalk shall not be liable for damages arising from the cancellation of the event. Item 5-1, sorry, 5-2, approve the use of Veterans Memorial Park and immediate surrounding grounds by J.S. Endurance for their Garavel Sono Half Marathon 5K and Kids Fun Run event to be held on Sunday, October 6th, 2024 from 8.30 a.m. to 12.45 p.m. Set up time at 7 a.m. with tear down by 2 p.m. Approximately 1,500 people. I'm gonna move the item. Thank you, Ms. Shanahan. And who do we have here to, to speak to this? Uh, hi, everyone. You have James and Shannon Whipple. Um, I can't see anybody. I don't know if you can see me. No, we can't. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no worries. Uh, yeah, so I'm here with my wife. We've been the race directors for the event for nine years. This will be year uh, 2024 will be year 10. And, um, it, you know, this year, which we just had the race in October was another great year. Uh, very good feedback, very little issues. Um, had a follow up conversation with the police officer in charge this year. Very few issues on their end. So um, we're just excited about year 10. Wonderful. Um, do we have any questions for Mr. Whipple? Yes, Ms. Shanahan. I don't have a question. I just want to say that I've run that event maybe three times. It's so much fun. It's always a really, really well run event and um, everybody enjoys it. So I'm really excited you guys are coming back. Awesome. Thank you very much. Any other comments or questions? No, there's just an annual event that we have all you know, annually. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, it, it brings uh, a lot of um, uh, fun and enjoyment to Lisa. I, I want to know Lisa's time when she tells her best time. <laughs> you don't want to know that I actually <laughs> won. I came in second in the eight. Right. Oh, yeah, girl. Oh, yeah. That's great. As old as I am. Yeah. So that's why I like <laughs> it. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Yeah, um, I, I, you know, we have no problems with it. It bring just, you know, it's economic, uh, um, uh, you know, um, anchor to uh, our our city that that uh, we can. So we have no problems. We want to continue this event as long as we're here. So thank you. I appreciate that. I, I just have a question. So you said you did it this year. What were you, what were your numbers like? Fifteen hundred is a lot. I mean, that's a, that's amazing. Yeah, so we we do a half marathon and we do a 5K. Um, the half marathon this year probably had about a thousand finishers, give or take. I mean, we probably had a little bit more that signed up, but there's always you know a 10 to 20 percent no show rate. And then the uh, 5K, I think, was about four or five hundred. So right around that number, it's a comfortable number. You know, we don't really have to do much advertising. We um, there is a lot of other races that have popped up 5Ks here, there, and we just always get a pretty consistent number just because. We do go, you know, above and beyond with the shirt design, the metal designs, um, you know, obviously like we have a lot of great sponsors involved. So the post-race party is a lot of fun um, and we get a lot of charity partners involved. I mean, every aid station along the course, which there's mm -hmm. seven of them is a charity partner. Um, you know, we have open door shelter out there. We have all Saints Catholic school. We have um, uh, the NOC uh, honor society was at the beach this year. We have Fairfield, uh, 
Fairfield Child Guidance Center at an aid station. We have HELP, which is an organization that does also an aid station. They, they help raise funds for uh, kids going to college. Um, so it's just, you know, it's a great event as far as working with the charities. Like I said, with the sponsors, we pretty much every year have had the same sponsors. So, yeah, I mean, that number, like I said, is a comfortable number. Um, you know, if you try to do too many more, it gets to be a bit much. And um, like, he, like the gentleman said, you know, all the businesses downtown seem to enjoy the race. Obviously, the runners get done. They go in, they have, you know, lunch, uh, celebrate. So we love it. And this year was it was it was a, a tricky year because the water down in Veterans Park on Friday and Saturday was really bad. I've mm. and, and I've lived in Naw. I lived in Naw for forty five years. We moved recently to Trumbull, but um, I've never seen the parking lot be like underwater. And it mm. was, but magically the day of the race, it was just a beautiful day. Weather was really nice, and um, uh, no wind or anything, which obviously could be tricky down there along the water. But it, it was a great day. Great, great. So I wonder, do you get any, you should get press. Does the, does Channel 12 or someone come out and they, they do. Anytime? They do. Yeah, they do. They're so in the beginning though. Yeah, I mean, the, the first four or five years, they were there pretty consistently. I think they did an article this year. Okay. Um, I mean, and we do, obviously, we have a lot, we have a great, great social media presence where people share a lot of stuff and obviously tag run Sono and, um, but uh, we do a press release, obviously, every year. But I, I know they were there this year because they did. Oh, I yeah, there was an article that they did this That's year. That's the hour, though. She said. OK. All right. I, I just it just sounds like an, a win win overall for everybody in the city from the people who participate and the businesses. And so just to hear um, the level and, and the and the um, partnerships that you have with the organization is really amazing. I know. Um, a couple of them, and and Tristan Fields is the person with the help program. Yeah, um, so I know him well, and he does run and and participate in that as well as others. So, thank you very much. Oh, thank you guys. Uh, you know, and I can't express enough how great you know each de each department is that we work with. Like the police department, we we have to hire roughly forty to forty two officers for the event every year, um, and just because obviously our number one goal is safety. And we have, you know, motorcycle police officers that lead the race as well as are in the back of the race. And that is also not only for safety, but also just for a, a unique experience for the race and the runners. Um, you know, the EMS does a great job. Parks and Rec is incredible. Uh, DPW. I mean, it's just everybody it really comes together for the event. And, um, you know, like the cones that go out that morning. So I, I can't thank the city enough. I mean, I really have nothing bad to say. Everybody always pulls together to make sure that it's a great experience. I mean, other than, you know, what the weather is going to do, everybody in the city has just been great to work with. Good to hear. Thank you both so much for, for organizing and keeping it going for the city. Thank you very much. Well, guys, do you know when the next meeting is? Or I'm sure I'll get an email from Rebecca. You'll get an yeah, email. Rebecca. Rebecca will contact you. Okay. Thank you guys very much. Have Thank a great you. night. You too. Holiday. Take care, James. Bye. -bye. So we just need to approve the recreation and parks meeting dates for 2024. Darlene, I'm sorry. Can I ask a question though? Oh, sure, what? sure. I was trying to get on. Um, with everything that's going on with the walk bridge, is there any kind of alternate route that they may need, or is the, is there a backup plan in case? It gets really congested down at Veterans Park around that time. So I would defer to um, both Robert and Ken and Jeremiah. That that's a good question. Yeah, so so they actually work with the traffic commission as the race get, the race gets closer. So any okay. issues like that uh, that's flushed out through the traffic commission. And if they do have to, you know, change the route or maybe you know congregate in a different area of Vets Park, uh, they will. So you know everybody's yeah. aware that that's kind of on the horizon with the walk bridge. So it is something in the back of, of everyone's mind. Um, but yeah, that's done in, in, in close conjunction with the police department and traffic commission. And just let them know that they may need to bus people in if, yeah. if things get crazy around mm -hmm. the area. Okay, that was Thank my you. question, thanks. Thank you. I was about to move on, we didn't vote. So all in favor? <laughs> all right, unanimous, Nicole, I can't, we're all good, okay. All right, we're going to move on to 5-3, approve the Recreation and Parks Council meeting dates for 2020. We can just all approve that. It's approved. 
Do we want to raise our hands and say we approve the calendar because we're not going to change it? Just say yes. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, five four. Authorize a purchasing agent to issue a purchase order to MEO O'Brien and Sons for the sole source purchase and installation of a new playground at Brookside School. Pricing from the state contract number 17 PSX0081 in an amount not to exceed $187,425.15 from the state of Connecticut Deep Park Beautification Grant 0923-6030-5796-CO8032. Someone move the item. Thank you, Ms. Shanahan. Okay. What do we have here to speak to this? So, uh, Madam, Madam Chair, this is a this is another playground that we're doing off the state of Connecticut DEP grant. Uh, we've been working closely with the principal and PTA of Brookside School uh, to come up with a playground design. Uh, they finalized the design. So what you have before you is the cost of the, the contract to install. Okay. Do you have any questions? For Robert, Robert, did you have anything you wanted to add? No, not at all. <clears throat> all right. No questions about that. So we move forward. All in favor? Okay. And four A, authorize the director of recreation and parks to issue change orders to MEO Brian and Sons for the purchase and installation of a new playground at Brookside School in an amount not to exceed eighteen thousand four hundred twenty-five dollars from the State of Connecticut Deep Parks Beautification Grant account number noted. We can move that. Who wants to move that? I'll say, Mr. Sutton. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. <laughs> so that's just that's just a change order so all in favor unless you have any questions all right i like this meeting <laughs> so we need to um um go back to item one and just make a statement um delene were you able to reach the uh the representative he's on jeremiah's on i, I texted oh, hi, him jeremiah. okay i texted him you did I let him know we'll be talking to him in the next couple of days. Okay. And is that the Jeremiah that's on right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Yeah. Um, hi. Thank you. I'll be quiet now. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that's okay. So we will, we'll have to bring this back uh, to the committee um, and that'll be in January, but you still have enough time. Your event is in July. And so hopefully we'll, we'll be able to address it then. Okay. And we'll have a convert. Uh, Robert, Mr. Stowers or Mr. Hughes um, will be in contact with you. Fantastic. Thank you very All much. Right. All I right. appreciate the city very much. Okay. Thank you. Have a good evening. You as well. All right. So I need what? A motion. Are we done? So <laughs> Miss Dunn? Miss Heather Dunn? Sorry, you know, I've I haven't answered my quote of questions, right? <laughs> Go ahead. Um so that the thing that you're tabling till January. In order for it to come back, one thing, please. Um, I know that it said the rain date, alternate date was August 3rd. And I know that that's typically, I don't know if they've submitted a permit yet for the Sono Arts Festival is usually that weekend. So Washington mm -hmm. Street's gonna be crazy. And if there's stuff in Veterans Park, we may wanna kind of look at not having that be an alternate rain date, if possible, just a suggestion to them, okay? Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah, we, that. <clears throat> go ahead, Robert. Mr. Stowers. No, I, just, I was just saying, we, we, you know, when we go through all the things that need to be reviewed, we will also look at all the dates so that yeah. we're, not, we're not putting too many people in the same place at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks, Heather. I just wanted to raise it in case mm -hmm. somebody yeah, that's good. missed it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, so I guess this is it. For the year. Yay. Well, before you do that, is that what you want? We, before, before we adjourn, I just want to say thank you to Robert, to Mr. Stowers, to Mr. Hughes, Ms. Deline Bird, for all of your support. I, I, I had to come back to Recreation and Parks. This is my heart, and I just love mm -hmm. what we're doing. Um, I don't know. You can ride around the city and see the improvements that we're making, and it just feels right, and it feels great. And we've got a lot more to do. So I just 
Thank you to you, Robert and Ken, and just the whole Recreation and Parks Department. Thank you. Yeah, thank, 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 you, thank you for your support. Because yeah. Without yeah. you guys, our wacky ideas wouldn't come to fruition. So <laughs> we, we need exactly. we need you guys more than than you need us. So. Yeah. Yeah. And and thank you to the to, to the old council members and the new ones coming on. Um, I hope you enjoy this committee as much as I do. Um, it's a great got a lot of things. With. Got a lot, a lot of, of stuff going. On. A lot of things a lot going of, on. A lot of a lot of a lot of uh, very exciting things to come. Uh, and uh, next year or two so we're the fun committee yeah <laughs> <laughs> plus, it's right. nice, plus it's nice to be on tv yeah, yeah right <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you At least i didn't see Mr. yeah thank you all so much thank, thank you. you thank all you all right happy okay. holidays take care you. Thanks, everyone. Bye. good night Bye.